Ladies and gentlemen, here's the field for tonight's featured seventh race. Number one is Complex Lisa. Complex Lisa is owned by the Complex Acres Incorporated and Jeff Fountain of Rocco Contini of Florida and Delaware. Trained by Bob Marsh, here is one Complex Lisa. Entry mate 1A, Union Silk, owned by John Adamson and Hayes of Indiana. Trained by Bobby Marsh, driven by Ronnie Marsh, 1A, Union Silk. Here is number two, Jean Vic Castle. Jean Vic Castle is owned by Bob McFarlane of London, Ontario, Canada. Trained by Irv Molnar and driven by John Hayes Jr. Number two, Jean Vic Castle. Number three, Extorter. Extorter is owned by Barbara and Glenn Bottoms of Frankfort, Kentucky. Trained and driven by Chris Loney. Here is three, Extorter. Number four will be Denialator. Annihilator is owned by William Hunter and the Clockus Trading Company, trained by Annette Hamilton, the driver, Daryl Bossy. Here is for Annihilator. Number five is Ideal Fresh. Ideal Fresh is owned by the McTrade Enterprises of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, trained by Ed Carl Ross and driven by the golden boy, Tom Harmer. Number five, Ideal Fresh. Number six, Lady Silver. Lady Silver is owned jointly by Sam and Gerald Ross, along with Carl Ungerman and Tom Artendi of Ontario, Canada. Trained by Tom Artendi and driven by Walter Paisley. Six, Lady Silver. Number seven, Demonstrate. Demonstrate is owned by Brad Maxwell's stable and Terry Hudson of Ontario. Trained by Brad Maxwell, the driver, Laverne Hostether. That's seven, Demonstrate. Number eight is Temptress Alma Hurst, owned by Charlie Kiesler and Bob Smith of Michigan, trained by Charlie Kiesler, driven by Dale Heitman. Eight, Temptress Alma Hurst. And number nine, Instant Rebate. Instant Rebate is owned by George Siegel and Brian Monesian of Chicago, Illinois, trained by Bob McIntosh. Number nine, Instant Rebate, and driver Dave McGee. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the field for the $100,000 Cinderella. Starting time in seven minutes. As the field lines up behind the starting gate, number eight, Temptress Almerhurst will line up in the second tier, as will number nine, Instant Rebate. They breach the starting gate. The gate is running. Field moves to the top of the turn, nearing the start. And here they come. They're all fan pacing. There goes the Annihilator on the outside out for the lead. Followed now by Extorter. Into the turn they race and Denialator from the outside now powers and the command. Here comes Lady Silver third moving to second. It's Extorter now back to third. Followed on the inside of horses by Jean Vecasel. Approaching the opening quarter out from the outside. Lady Silver with a rush now to take command. It's Denialator right there in second. Two lengths Jean Vecasel. In third two lengths Extorter in fourth. On the outside that's instant rebate. Followed by Temptress Alma Hurst. It's Demonstrate. It's Ideal Fresh. Followed now by Union Silk and trailing by the quarter complex Lisa. That first quarter was 27 and 2. And Lady Silver maintains the lead now by two lengths. It's Denialator right there in second. Jean Vic Castle is first over third. Now moving to second on the outside as they race by the half. 57 and 1. They're halfway home. Into the clubhouse turn they race and Lady Silver maintains the lead as Jean Vic Castle moves second on the outside. Foot on the inside. It's Denialator back to third. Here comes Instant Rebate. She's set to go three wide. Now they curve into the back stretch and Lady Silver maintains the lead. It's Denialator in second. It's Jean Vic Castle in third. Instant Rebate. It's Temptress Elmerhurst between horses. Extorter is there. And on the outside it's Instant rebate as they drive by the three quarter mile mark. Lady Silver, but instant rebate. Moving third, second on the outside. 
as they come turning for home. It's Lady Silver with the lead. Instant rebate with a rush. Demonstrate on the far outside. Down the stretch. It's instant rebate with the lead. On the inside, that's Lady Silver and Den Annihilator. Down the stretch. Instant rebate is all alone at the wire. Den Annihilator and Lady Silver. Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing a technical difficulty with the infield tote board. The stewards have advised us there is a stewards inquiry on this race. This inquiry, however, does not affect the unofficial winner, number nine, instant rebate. The stewards are looking at the early stretch run because of an incident between number two, Jean-Vic Castle, and number four, Stewart find no signs of interference. Horses will be placed as posted. Number nine, instant rebate, the winner. Number four, Dunnia later, second, six, Lady Silver, third. Number eight, Temptress Elmerhurst was four. Results are official. Time for the mile, 159. We're in the winner's circle with Dave McGee. Congratulations, Dave. We're picking the race up from the half mile. Would you tell us, how did you see the race from here? Well, from here, I... It Look, I looked pretty comfortable right here. I thought uh, I was following the horse that I wanted to be following. I thought he might be able to carry me right to the front, but uh, as it turned out, he wasn't that handy in the turns, and he kind of backed off in the turns, so I had to move uh, three wide up the back stretch when the other horses from behind started coming. At this point, they had got a pretty snappy first half. Of course, that was in your favor. How did you think um, they were going to come home from here? Well, I had hoped the uh, the pace setters would tire. They weren't tiring as swiftly as I had hoped. Uh, I was out, parked out the whole mile myself, so uh, the filly was feeling the the uh, tired from the uh, trip, but uh, she just kind of out, out muscled them from the head of the stretch home. She looks very easy gated drawing away here, and I had heard from the trainer that she was a very nervous filly. Could you tell that while driving her? Well, I could tell scoring down in the post parade that she was a little antsy, but uh, in a race she handled, handled real nice. She was perfect. Well, congratulations to you. It was win number 13 for her. I guess it didn't prove unlucky. Thanks, Dave. Oh, thank you.